everyone was there because they were flying people in from Japan. And so I never had any issue about not being able to, um, you know, historically make it correct or um, make the language um, feel right. Hi, Anna. Look, this show is incredible. When they said it was an epic event, they were not kidding. It is absolutely phenomenal. Every episode feels like its own movie. Um, look, you play Mariko, and that's based on the on um, the real person, uh, Hosawa, uh, oh, sorry, Hosokawa Gracia. Got yeah. it right. There we go. How much research did you do into that person, and how did you marry that with the character in the book? I read books on her. Um, but it's it's difficult when you're playing like a character, uh, like a figure from the 1600, because there's not there. You can't look at clips. There aren't actual pictures of her. So I would just read and then I would talk to um, uh, Rachel mostly because uh, she really thought that, you know, Mariko was um, I mean, like she lived with Mariko for so many years before I came on board. Um, and we would kind of take element, I would take elements from Hosokawa Garasha, but also I knew that we weren't really trying to recreate her in the movie. It was more, she's inspiring Mariko. So, um, uh, I focused more on what was on the script, um, to bring her to life. I want to talk about the relationship that your character has with her husband, uh, Buntaro, uh, cause he kind of keeps her in this invisible cage. How, um, can you discuss the relationship uh, that we see with her husband throughout the course of the series? I don't think she was ever happy in her marriage. Um, when she was married to him, she felt like she didn't really understand why her dad was allowing that. And um, so throughout the whole show, we kind of see her struggling to kind of bond with him. And I don't even think she's trying at that point. Um, and towards the end, we see this beautiful tea house scene. And that's kind of when she first speaks to him about how she really feels and what she's really keeping her from. And um, so, yeah, like it was the scenes with him. It was just kind of difficult because, um, you know, like we we don't see the connection, really. It's a hard relationship for her speaking of invisible cages uh i feel that her that your character and blackthorn have a lot of parallels but also a lot of contrast um can you talk about their relationship and how we see their bond kind of grow throughout the series yes uh i think that in the beginning obviously she's very um skeptical about him but then um she doesn't really care what he thinks because he's not from japan he doesn't know the societal rules and that allows her to just really be herself. And I think um, because you brought up Buntaro, everything that he doesn't accept of her, uh, Blackthorn is accepting. Um, and so that allows her to really open up to him and she feels seen by him. And that kind of naturally um, creates a beautiful relationship. I love this idea of the Eightfold Fence. For those that may not be aware of that, of the Eightfold Fence, what is the Eightfold Fence? The Eightfold Fence is, I think, a way to protect yourself when you're in a situation where, um, you know, you just don't feel accepted or you feel that you need to just get away. Um, the Eightfold Fence is what you kind of build within your head to just bring yourself into a peace place um and i think that yeah i think that's something that i do um but when you put it into words as an eightfold fence i think that's very poetic and beautiful i couldn't agree with you more now correct me if i'm wrong but this is your first period piece and i i feel like this was shot literally in the past um the team on shogun pay attention to detail like no other can you discuss the authenticity uh, that the creators brought to the series? You know, I've been a part of many Japanese projects. I've seen a lot of Japanese-themed uh, stories, but um, there's always something that I'm like, mm, I don't know. And a lot of people don't notice that. And maybe, you know, that's why it's been okay. But as a Japanese person, I would want the Japanese people to be accepting and to think, yes, that is our history and our our, our culture and our people. And on this show, 
um, it really surprised me that when I got the script, there wasn't much to say about accuracy because they already nailed it by that time. Um, Hero, Erico, we had so many um, consultants. There was a technical supervisor on set. There was a Shosa teacher on set. Like everyone was there. And I think a lot of times if I had questions in the past on different projects, they would be like, okay, we need to like make a phone call or we need to type an email and see what we should do about that. If it was a line, like we wouldn't be able to change it on the day. But with Shogun, everyone was there because they were flying people in from Japan. And so I never had any issue about not being able to, um, you know, historically make it correct or um, make the language um, feel right. What do you think you learned about yourself through playing this character? I learned so much. It's so hard to just kind of mm, express it in like a couple of sentences, but uh it really made me learn what I want to do in the future. I think, you know, before I was like, oh, I want to just try a lot of things and, you know, do comedy and do a, you know, like a drama series and blah, blah, blah. But now I'm like, I only want to do things that are kind of like Shogun that really bring me to a deep and heavy place and where I kind of have to lose sense of myself. And I don't know if that's healthy, but honestly, Marika was such an amazing character play character to play. And Justin and Rachel and Hiro and Eriko, they were all just, they're just the best, honestly. So I only want to work with people that can like bring all of that and like really dedicate their lives to this, to a project. Well, now switching gears for a second. My last question is I love Monarch. It is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you could explore uh, anything with your character in season two, especially in regards to the time jump and getting Kate's grandmother back, what would you like to explore? Well, you know, we don't know if there's going to be a season two, but if there is going to be one, I would want Kate to have more agency. You know, in the first season, she's asking a lot of questions and she's um, she doesn't she's very lost. But I think now that we've seen her um, in a different world, you know, and she's seen things that she had no idea existed. I feel like, you know, she should be a different person and be able to like go on her own journey because she wants to. Well, Anna, thank you so much for your time. You were incredible in Shogun. That tea house scene was incredible. So amazing. Uh, I love your performance in this. Thank you for your time. 